right, so I'm starting with the two conductor ghost wire and the, there's the two sides of it. The one is the side with just the removable backing and the other side is the side that's paintable, um, the white side that will be exposed. So to get down to the actual conductors, it's easiest, first of all, just to remove a little bit of the protective backing and you can fold it back. I prefer to just kind of pull it away. And then you gotta get in there and separate the two adhesive layers. There's adhesive that would hold it to the wall in this case. And on the other side, there's the adhesive that holds on the, the flat layer. So I think it's easiest if you get in with a blade and can very carefully start to separate the copper from the backing. And you can kind of see the two layers pull apart and then you can get enough that you can kind of grab it with your hand. And this is, I think, the trickiest part just to get it started. If you need to, you can kind of bend up the end um, just to get started and then trim that bit off later. And there, pull the way. So you'll notice as you do this that one side comes away pretty clean. This side that ends up being the paintable side. Where the wall adhesive is really sticky and that just likes to stay on. So you really in most cases just have to worry about getting the top side or the, the paintable side clean. Here. You can see those two layers are separating. And just go ahead and peel the copper back. If you get enough to get a grip on it. Which there. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from the other side. Separate it there again. Oh, you know what? There. So in this case, you can see the very end is really kind of uglied up there, but I'll just end up trimming that off before I start to prep it for the terminal block. Now at this point you can either peel off this adhesive layer, this clear adhesive layer, or since you're just going to fold it back onto itself, <clears throat> you can very lightly score it and just peel it separately. And just pull it away like that. And for the terminal block, you can just leave that adhesive on it as it is. Peel this one back. And then, Trim paper backing. Careful not to cut your copper conductors. You have to start all over. And then, to put on the terminal blocks, you want about an, 
three quarters of an inch to an inch exposed of the copper to begin with. So I've got more than that here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this flush so I can get rid of this jagged edge that I created. Trim them. There. And the first fold will fold over about a quarter of an inch. And then we'll fold that over again. And we'll do the same thing here. So we've got this exposed connector has no adhesive on it. Go ahead and pinch those to compress that down and that'll fit right into the terminal block. So then <clears throat> you'd want to feed it in flush, make sure it seats all the way. Let me get my screwdriver here and back these screws out. And then lock it down. Just make sure all four screws are tight. Now get to the most surface area on both sides. You get a clean appearance from there. And then you're ready to peel off the rest of the backing and you can stick the whole ghost wire to the wall.